Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X-2 Fiend Tale Run. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have I have all the drinks today, okay? I have I have some tea. I, I didn't want to get too much caffeine, but I wanted a little, so I made some green tea. And I'm using my lovely, I don't think, I can't pick it up to where the camera can see it, but I'm using my lovely like gift exchange. Oh, there we go. Gift exchange thing from Kitty to keep my to keep my tea hot. So that's over there. That's over there. Why is my microphone quiet? Hello. No, I'm just not close enough to it. Get over here. Okay. I've also got my LaCroix, which I need to open. I've got water, as always, for the backup drink. I'm gonna go ahead and open the LaCroix, and then we're gonna drink the tea first, because then maybe I can not have so many bubbles in it. LaCroix is too many bubbles. Get out, get out. Okay. Let's turn on the volume so you guys can hear the beautiful music. Okay. All right. You guys, we're in chapter five. Can you believe it? I kind of can't believe it. It's pretty amazing. Thank you, OBS. For a second, it was like, no, they don't need to see the game. They don't need to see the game, but they do need to see the game. Okay, we are leveling up Ultima Weapon right now. I think he needed like one more level. I think he was like almost there. And then I was like, no, we'll do it next time. Um, let's see, Ultima Weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he probably needs like one more chapter. Because this storyline, they it seems like they have like three. Like it's like the third one instead of on the fifth one. So let's get him into the arena. <clears throat> and we're going to enter... Let's see. Oh, you have to have a cactuar in the team for that? Okay, whatever. Yes. And... I think we let's let's make him speedy. There we go. I'm so curious. This says this unlocks like the thing, so I think this is the last one of this little plot line here. Gosh, he's so strong. I almost don't want to release him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I want to use him. Uh... But we have to release him for the fiend tail. My green tea is um strawberry pineapple flavor green tea. It's really delicious. Gosh, I'll do my weapon. Buy me dinner first. He's so much. Okay, but he can't seem to hit this guy. <laughs> maybe, there you go. I was going to say maybe flare. <laughs> he flare. There we go. Okay, last battle. Last battle of the tourney. Winner! Okay, Fiend Tail bonus. We should be able to see it now. Oh! Oh no, there's more. Okay, he's got to level up two more times, I guess. All right, so we need to do at least one more. Yeah, I think he was close to leveling, so I think we need to do at least one more tourney. Maybe two. Let's go. He's so good, so it'll be okay. It'll be fast. Go, 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 go.
Easy clap. My eyeballs are really watery today. I don't know what's going on with that. I think like there's allergens in the air or something, which doesn't make any sense because it's cold as heck. Like we've been having to drip the faucets multiple nights. And then last night, y'all, we watched the ball inside. Inside, not outside, <laughs> on the outside TV. No, we watched it inside. It was that cold. It was so cold insane like it was like it actually got below freezing last night and then because of the wind chill it felt worse so it was like actual temperature 31 feels like 26 or something crazy like that something something just is insane that's probably not the exact numbers but it was kind of it was like that okay let's go take a peek Okay, there we go. All right. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. The ultimate fiend whose powers have been sealed since ancient times. The true Ultima weapon. Right now, it's like an infant not aware of its power. I'm going to raise it and expose the truth about the fiend world. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. I can hear the voice of Ultima weapon's soul. Long ago, when, when the Spira and the Fiend world were still connected, two brothers fought for the crown of the Fiend world. The younger brother sought to invade Spira as a show of strength by the Fiend world. To protect Spira, the elder brother went to Spira personally and sealed the path to the Fiend world. The elder brother was banned as a traitor and exiled from the Fiend world. Oh, so he tried to save us. Oh my gosh. Okay. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. Though he had protected Spira, the elder brother was feared and hunted by the humans he saved. In his sorrow, the elder brother sealed his own power and fell into a slumber deep beneath Spira. The elder brother thus became legend as the ultimate fiend named Ultima Weapon. Banished from his home and unwelcome in Spira, that was the sad fate of Ultima Weapon. I wish to return to my slumber. That is Ultima what Ultima Weapon is saying. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor Ultima Weapon. I don't want to send him back to the fiend world now. I understand why he betrayed them. He was right. The fiends were trying to wage war on Spira. They shouldn't have did that. Ultima weapon. You cut your ties to the fiend world to protect the world of humans. I'll take over your mantle. I won't hand you over to the fiend world. Yay! Okay. Shinra! I'll use machines to seal you in. Oh, good Shinra. Uh-oh. What? Oh, shit. They're here. Oh no, they're dragging him down. The portal to the fiend world is opening. We have to close the fiend portal. Activate fiend arena. Mission time. Fiend Deathmatch. The Fiend Challenger has been trapped inside the Fiend Arena. We need to win the Fiend Portal Deathmatch in order, order to see the portal to the Fiend World. If we lose, Spirit is finished. We'll have to keep this a secret from Brother and them. 
Omega Weapon, King of the Fiend World, has awakened. The fate of Spira is now in the hands of the Gullwings. Go, go, Gullwings. <laughs> Shinra! Oh my gosh, okay, so I guess that's why we have to beat it up. Jesus. Um, alright. Uh, let's see, who should we put in the party next? Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do Lich, and then... Do I have any small ones right now? Oh yeah, this guy. I was trying to finish up Bassinet. Okay. Okay. The next step is to go to the Thunder Plains and do the mission where you rescue Sid. But I want to finish up just a couple of these straggling um, fiend tails that we've got in there. Because I think, like, okay, let's see. Three, four, five, six. We need six open slots for the next step, so two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do that. Okay. Fiend Arena. So we'll do the Lich and the Bassinet. Go! We'll do their tails. And then we can do, I guess, the Zalamander and the Claret Dragon, and that should give us enough slots for the next step with the Thunder Plains. I don't think either of them have leveled up, so I think this is just the fiend health bonus. Oh, there's a level up. Okay. Winner! go check and see where they're at. <laughs> Koneko! Koneko with the first! Okay, Vasna only needs one more. How are you doing today? Okay, Lich needs quite a bit more. Alright, so we'll do it one more and we'll level up Vasnat. So the Lich needs two more, so hopefully he'll level as well on this one. And then we can do both of theirs. I'm doing grand, kind of EB, but I'm vibing. Oh my gosh. I kind of EB today too. The weather is insane. Like you were talking about how you were having like extra snow and stuff there. It is so cold here, Koneko. And not that it doesn't sometimes get cold, but it doesn't like stay cold for days like this. So I had to make some middle of the day caffeine. So I've got some green tea with me today. But it's just crazy. Like we're having to drip the faucets every night. And the wind chill makes everything like five or six degrees colder than it really is. Because it's super windy on top of it being just cold. It's super cold here too. I keep forgetting to drink because I never get warm enough to register that I'm thirsty. Oh my God. That happened to me yesterday. Like... 
I didn't get more water. And then it was like, like 20 minutes really until bedtime. And I, I was like, oh, I'm thirsty. But I didn't drink anything because I didn't want to be up all night using the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't. But I was like, oh, I actually got really thirsty because I always have a drink next to me. So I don't really feel that thirsty most of the time. And I guess it was so cold, I just didn't really even think about drinking, you know? But it's been dry here too, like deceptively dry. Like, and it doesn't really get dry here, like ever. So it's like, it's definitely new experience. <sighs> um, wacky freaking weather. Anybody that's like still denying that climate change is a thing, like they're insane. They're just not paying attention. I literally just noticed that my water bottle, which has been next to me for three hours, was still full. Oh my gosh, take a sip. Take a sip while you're noticing. Uh, hydrate. Hydrate for Koneko. <laughs> I spend my real life channel points. <laughs> for the Koneko channel to hydrate. Chug the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Making up for lost time. Okay, let's see if the Lich is ready. Okay, no, Lich needs one more. Um, the Bassinet's probably ready, but let's just do the tournament one more time. Because I don't have another small one to replace, so I might as well just throw them both in. gone hopefully that perks me up it makes me feel not so sluggish Okay, they'll definitely both have uh, their fiend tail done then. When we go back in chat. Bum, bum, bum. Alrighty, time for the Lich. Okay, I believe I had a good life in the troop. I was able to play many different instruments. Until my natural life ended, I was able to perform every year for the Yevon Maester. Upon my death, my loved ones provided me with an instrument to bring on my journey to the Far Plain. Their hope being that music would always be close to me, even in death. But then I awoke to see myself transformed into this. Unable to go to the far plane, I wandered, looking for one last chance to play music. First, I tried to play a horn instrument. It was the very first instrument I learned as a young man. After breathing in a long breath, I blew into the horn, but air started leaking all over my body. Only a weak whimper, whimper would come out of the horn. One cannot make music if one can make no sound. I tried percussion next. My drums riled up the spirits of, my cru of the crusaders as they began their march. But now with these thin, frail arms, I cannot hit the drum hard enough to make a sound. Then, of course, I tried the harp. But every time these sharp, pointy fingers touch the strings, they're severed. Oh, cruel fate, what am I to do? Though not as famous as my playing ability, I was also known as a good singer. But now, how could they take away my beautiful voice? Now people run away in horror after I sing one verse. 
such a hideous tone. This body is unable to make music. Perhaps I should give up. My mom's been cleaning out boxes with old toys and stuff. We found a complete set of Snow White toys with a Stitch toy. I didn't even know we had. Mom called dibs on Snow White set, and I called dibs on Stitch. Oh my god, really? What? Okay, what's... I? I, I definitely remember like various Stitch toys and stuff, but what was the Snow White set? I don't remember a lot of Snow White toys growing up. All right, let's see if this Lich can play, can find a, a music, if he can find some music in his soul. Was the Lich saying he was part of this troop? I really want to perform. Ah, to capture that glory once more. Yep, yep. What do we have here? That anguish. That movement. And that appearance. Totally usable. Totally. A few days later. Ah, I had not thought about being a conductor. <sighs> he would make a good conductor with those long ass spindly arms. You would totally be able to see them all the way in the back. It's a pretty small band, though, for needing a conductor. Long live music! He needs to find a bigger orchestra. Oh, that was a cute one. I think the Snow, Snow White set was like collectibles from somewhere. A bunch of tiny figures of the characters. Might have been a promotional thing or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, it could be. I just don't remember it. Alright, let's see about his theme tale. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, actually always kind of admired the gull wings from afar. I heard about the trap pods from a fiend, so I was in Mount Gagazet hoping to get caught. And now I get to fight alongside you. I'm so happy. I uh, actually, truthfully, I'm here because I admire a specific person in the gull wings. That perfectly trained body, that mohawk that stops a running chocobo in its tracks, and of course the graceful body language. Yes, I'm talking about Brother, our fearless leader. Everything about him resonates with me. Brother is my hero. I first saw Brother in the Gagazette ruins as he jumped from the airship to go after Yuna. He seemed so worried about her. He was shouting her name. Of course, Yuna and her team were too busy fighting LeBlanc and company to notice, but I was so touched by Brother's love, a love that seemed to know no obstacle. It opened my eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yay! I'm so glad a Brother fan exists. Ever since I came aboard, I've been practicing body language so I can be like Brother. I think I've come a long way. I'm sure Brother and I can share a deeper understanding now. My dream is to become Brother's best student. So today, I have to go tell him how I feel. Oh my gosh, tell him, tell him, tell him! Tell him, tell him. Today, I'm gonna ask Brother to make me his number one apprentice. I just hope the body language I've been practicing pays off. Okay, let's go. Let me be your apprentice. Huh? What is your name? Huh? My name is Brother. Oh, a reply. The path will be difficult. The... No. That's not what he said. I'm fully aware of this. 
No, thank you. Huh? Will you marry me? Too soon, he says. But, but why? Well, uh, I guess if it's from a fiend. Huh? You did not practice your body language well enough. Brother has no idea what you're trying to say. I'm so sorry, friend. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we have four slots now. Um, let's do... Let's do the Claret Dragon. No, not the simulator. Dang it. I meant to click on the tournament. There we go. All right. Beat him up. Beat him up. Oh, I think I found them. I think I found them, Koneko. This is from eBay. I'll adjust my screen so that uh, you can see. There it is. Oh. Huh? Well, never mind. No, I won't. I'll link it instead. This guy. This is what I'm imagining. Was it something like this? I think I recently rearranged my desk and I think now my computer doesn't know, or OBS doesn't know which monitor is which. Which happens pretty frequently in OBS, actually. It can't seem to remember. The way that Windows can. But that box set appears like it would be from around the right time period. I don't think that's the type, it looks kind of similar. The one also has the Huntsman, the Witch, and a few animals. Oh, wow. The one that y'all found has a lot of figures. That's cool. I'll see if I can get a pic of the one we have. My mom put it in her display cabinet. That's, but that is so cool that it has like the Huntsman and stuff too. Because you don't often think about that character when it comes to like Disney merchandise.
All right, let me go check and see where he is. Yeah, he has like, what, five seconds of screen time? Barely anything, right? I mean, he's literally just there for the, like to move his part of the plot along. It's not really like, um, it's not really like a full-fledged part or anything. Okay, he needs one more arena run, so here we go. And then we'll do the Zalamander after him. And that Zalamander has the same model, just different colors, but he's the boss version of this guy. Don't try that. No, there you go. They just whack it. He has like no HP. Gosh, this guy has like, um,. A lot of... Oh, there we go. Say so this guy has a lot of defense. We're not really doing much damage. There we go. Okay, here we go. Before I took this form, I was a hunter that specialized in dragons. And before I was a hunter, I was a dragon. And before that, a hunter yet again. I've repeated this cycle many times. That's why I know that after I die this time, I'll be a dragon hunter again, with my previous life's memories intact. I must accept that as my fate. This is my punishment for taking so many lives. Dragons and hunters fight tooth and claw. Having experienced both sides, I can say that with certainty. Dragon scales are shattered by gunfire, and hunters are burned to a crisp by breath attacks. Needless to say, I've experienced the pain of both. Sometimes I wonder how many times I have to repeat this cycle before I can go to the far plane. Let's say that I'm killed by hunters today. I would die fearing them. <laughs> hey, Lunar, hello, how's it going? How's it going, Lunar? Um, I think about not wanting to be shot anymore, and when I do that, I think my soul is called over to their side. If I become a hunter, I won't get shot, right? And when I'm a hunter, how do I avoid getting roasted alive? I become a dragon, that's how. Each time I die, I surrender my soul to my killers. Popping in to say hi while the three kids play together. Hello, thank you so much for popping in, Lunar. I hope the kids are well behaved today. It's my own fear that's tethering me to Spira, I'm sure of it. I lose in battle and not only lose my body, but also surrender my soul to the enemy. All I remember is the fear of being killed by my opponents, but that can't go on any longer. I won't be bound by my fear any longer. I'll free myself from this never-ending spiral of death. Okay, let's see if he can do it. I believe in you, Dragon Hunter Dragon. Do not fear. Do not give up your souls until the very end. Wait, that they have wings like that? I what? I have never seen that on this model in this ten, in ten or in ten two. What is that unique to this scene? This is how it should be. 
My soul will belong to me until the bitter end. This one didn't attack. And look. The face is kind of peaceful. The soul of Claret Dragon left Spira and headed straight for the far plane. Fear, anger, if such emotions were to vanish from Spira, would fiends vanish as well? No, I don't think so, because we learned that fiends are their own thing too. So no, it wouldn't. They're just, they're just another thing that people can be reborn as and vice versa. Okay, let's see about the Zalamander. Oh, Zalamander has auto in. That's OP. That's nice. All right, get it, there we go. All right, fiend tail bonus. Let's go again. It's so lame that we learned the oversouls in here don't count. I feel like they should for getting my oversoul credit.
All right, got our fiend tail bonus. So we're gonna do one more time, and then we should be able to do his um, fiend tail as well. Oh, this guy. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That one's a little bit annoying. Too much defense. Okay, let's go see the Salamander feed ta fiend tail. Excuse me. Didn't get enough bubbles out of the little koi. All right, Salamander, go. Hey, why do you think humans and fiends are fighting all the time? I hate it. I don't want to hurt anybody. Nothing good comes out of fighting. I don't want to fight. That's why, even if I join you, I won't be of any use to you. I want to go home and see everybody. It's so hard to be alone. I want to be with my kind mother and my brave brother. Yes, I'm a dragon. We're feared by humans and fiends alike, but I'm also a coward. I'm a cowardly dragon. I wasn't born to fight. Remember, I said before that nothing good comes of, out of fighting. That's actually just an excuse. I think I was just trying to hide from the truth. I wanted to leave the fighting to others like my brother, so that I could just live comfortably. Hey look! Look! I never knew that I could breathe such powerful fire! I keep getting stronger and stronger. I guess I really am a dragon after all. I wonder if I'm stronger than my brother now. Oh, let's find out. He is, he's Courage the Cowardly Dragon, oh my gosh. My brothers go out and fight every day. Me? I just don't like fighting. But you know... What I like even less are the days when I used to just run and hide. I want to see what I'm made of. Not so I can hurt others, but so I can protect the people that I care about. Wing pop out again. I swear to God, I have never seen that until these fiend tails on these models. Here I come, goings. <laughs> His true powers awaken. Dragon King Jr.'s entered the Fiend Arena. Okay, so we got a new co new combatant. We hadn't got a new combatant in Chapter 5 at all, so that's our first one. 
All right, so Gug is the only one that we have captured that we have left. Let's see. Maybe we go ahead and do his and then put and put the chocobo in with him. We, we do need to level up our chocobo more. He's a junior. That's so freaking cute, right? Oh my gosh, I love it. Hopefully we get to fight him in the arena. Oh, not Black Lore. It's Black Tome. Oh my gosh. Oh, but Black Tome's already on there. Where's my other black tome? What happened? That is so weird. It's supposed to give my accessories back when I release um, themes, but for some reason, I'm missing a black tome now. Yeah, that's black lore. Oh. Wait a second. Uh, it's black lore that I'm supposed to put on, not black tome. Black tome is not the one with flair. Black lore is the one with flair. Okay, here we go. Are you sure you don't have it on someone? I didn't. I was just wrong about which accessory I was supposed to be using. They have to give them such similar names, and I get confused. I didn't. I wasn't looking at what the actual abilities it was giving them was. There we go. Okay. <laughs> ah. Have a good dinner, Koneko. I hope it's tasty. Okay. That'll get him a fiend tail bonus. I don't think we've used Gug at all, so... Gonna definitely need to do another tourney. I wonder if these two can beat the hard one. Um, <laughs> I keep doing this. I keep doing this. Oh my god, you have so many lurk emotes. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, you have... Oh, I like the one that looks like the little blue, like a little blue bunny Vaporeon looking thing. That one's really cute. Okay, let's try the Grand Cup hard with this team and see what happens. I'm probably going to hit something that they can't beat, but we're going to try anyway. Oh, it's Boris.
There we go. Okay, the the flare and um, Iron Duke combo really has been serving me well the past several streams. So we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, next round. Uh-oh. Oh, they cured. Okay, good, good. Cure again, cure again. Jesus. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. He has too much HP and too much defense. Jesus. Keep healing, Chocobo. Keep healing. Come on, can they get it before Chocobo runs out of MP? It's looking doubtful. My god. Yeah, they can't. Unless he only has like... <gasps> Alright, sweet! Yes, okay! Was not expecting that. Let's go. Who's next? Oh, you. Get him, guys. Get him, get him, get him. Well. Yeah. Yeah, that was something. Grand Cup hard is still hard. <laughs> it's still hard. Okay. Yeah, I know. So we, we can't we can't consistently win that one. Still. Alright, how many things does Gug have now? Okay, he needs two more story levels. Alright. I want to do it again. We're going to do it again. This is probably a bad idea. It's probably a terrible idea. Gug's probably not going to level. We're not going to win. It's okay. But it's okay. We're going to do it. Because I, I believe in this team. I believe in them. Oh, there he is. Look, it's our. it was our new friend that doesn't want to fight. But he's junior. You guys got this. Yes. Next. Oh, we can beat him. Got him. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Can we get him? Probably, I think. Oh yeah, Flair does a lot of damage. Just keep doing it. There we go. Okay. We're on the final bracket again. Who are we fighting? Shady Duo. Is that the one that, is that the one that just beat me up before with their Ultima? Yes, this is the one that beat me up before with their Ultima. Yep, and they're gonna do it again. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Stop punishing your fiends, Karen. Just do the do the tournament that they can win. <laughs> I but I wanna be ballsy. <sighs> I believed in them I believed in them too hard. My expectations were too high. Do the regular Grand Cup. Get Gug's last story level. Frickin' shady duo. 
freaking shady duo. Next. All right, we're on our way. We're doing it right this time. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's go check out Gug's Fiend Tail. I can't remember how I became a fiend. Well, I have an idea how it may have happened. I come from the Calm Lands. I lived there with my folks and they really coddled me. I found it kind of suffocating though. They said it wasn't safe to play outside at noon even. So I didn't have any friends. The only playmates I had were my mom and my dad. But they both worked, so I was alone most of the time. My folks ran the Rin Travel Agency. One day a customer came in and told us about Bavel. He said it was the largest city in Spira. I couldn't even imagine such a place. I mean, I'd never really even left the travel agency very much. That night at dinner, I asked my folks to take me to Bavel, but they got sort of agitated and said no, saying it was dangerous repeatedly. I thought to myself, I'm not a child anymore. It was time for me to leave the house. I left the house and made my way to Bavel. I lost my way in the woods that night, and by the time I made it through, it was dawn. It was then that a soldier in the area noticed me. Fiend! That's what he said before he and his friends began chasing me. I ran so hard that I eventually fainted when I and when I came to, I was by a brook, and I was grazed and I gazed into the water. I was shocked to see that the image in the reflection was that of a hairy, hideous fiend. I think I was turned into a fiend because I abandoned the people who raised me. I can't go back. I've been roaming through Spira ever since, and I haven't been back to the Calm Lands. Oh. I miss my parents. I wonder how they're doing. Okay, let's go check on Gug's parents and see how they are. I bet they miss them. I can't go see her looking like this. Gug? Is that you? <gasps> Ma! gotten so big. How, how'd you know it was me? Aren't you shocked that I look like this? I see. So you found out that you're actually a fiend. Ah? Well, what do you mean? It was over 20 years ago. Oh my gosh, the, the kid was always a fiend. It was a very cold, rainy night. That's why he wasn't allowed to play or go anywhere or do anything. I heard a thump outside the agency, and when I went outside, I saw a fiend laying on the ground. The fiend was hungry, cold, and most of all, terrified. I began to feel sorry for it. Then, I heard voices looking for an injured fiend. So, I hid the fiend inside the agency. 
The fiend was still small, a child, and that child was you, Gug. That means I'm... It means you're adopted. You're an adopted fiend. I hadn't died and become a fiend. I was born a fiend to begin with, and... I was raised in the darkness, away from the eyes of other humans. I'm so sorry. It's my fault that you had to suffer so much hardship. Because I raised you as a human child. Ma. But human door fiend, you're still my one and only child. I knew you would come back to me one day. Welcome home, my little Gug. Ma, I'm home. You should have just taken Gug out anyways and been like, no, this is my fiend son. Get over yourself. Gosh, oh, that one was kind of sad. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so that's those that grouping of fiends. So next, we're supposed to go do the Thunder Plains mission. So we're going to do that. So let's put the girls back in the party. Uh, she's good. We're gonna put an Iron Duke on Riku. And we're gonna put an Iron Duke on Pain. Okay. Now let's save before we get too much farther. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Alright, so that was all the fiends that we still had. So, time to do some more mission. Thunder Plains, let's go. Sphere waves scattered during the concert. So, can I? <sighs> Find us. Okay. So we have to go fight each of these guys before we can do the optional dungeon from Sid. Because I'm pretty sure we can't just go straight there. I think we have to do this first. Let's see, what abilities are they working on? I can't even remember. Oh, not pause. There we go. Oh, she's just got two of them. Time Trip and Excellence. Okay. What about Riku with Alchemist? Oh, she's just working on that freaking 999 one for Elixir. Okay. And, okay, we got a lot of stuff with Warrior. All right. Oh, I guess we can get the chests. I didn't do any of the calibration, so it's going to be the crappiest prizes from each of these. So I don't know how much we even really care. What's up, dude? I kick your booty. Come again, indeed. Yeah, I'm just getting consumables. I'm not even getting accessories. Well, then maybe it's like the second half that you get the... I don't remember. I don't remember.
Goodbye, Gemini. I guess having like mega phoenixes and stuff will be handy because we are going to have to traverse down the via infinito i know oh my god oh <laughs> We had already killed him, but he had to get off that chaos flame. Oh, okay. Power wrist. So we are getting the accessories. It's just the crappy versions. What's up, dude? Other side. What's up, my dude? I'm on a roll. You know what's funny? It's like lightning and stuff, right? But it's these chimeras that you kill. I feel like it should be some kind of like super powered lightning elemental, not the chimeras, because the chimeras can do like all the elements. You know, only their um their tail is lightning. So a very weird, interesting choice. Maybe they just wanted it to be a stronger fiend, and so they put the chimeras in there, even though, like, narratively, it would be some kind of lightning elemental. Like a lightning elemental, or a lightning flan, or something like that. Or, like, even one of those, um, triangle floaty guys, whatever they're well, called. Well. Jahi is, like, one of the names of them in this game. What's up? Yuna, money mass. Okay, I'm reminding myself now. I'm gonna go save before the boss. Because <laughs> he meteors at the end, so... I... I think I would survive it, but we'll see. Yeah, because there's the tenth one with the boss. But we're gonna go save first.
Hopefully it lets me. I think it should. Oh no, don't kill Yuna. Avenge her. Yeah, okay. That's where the boss is. So we're just gonna just gonna scoot on past that. Just gonna do this little scooch. Just a little scooch on past that. Don't don't acknowledge. Just keep walking. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Okay, let's save. And let's boss time. Oh, give me a random encounter right before the boss. That's good. That's good. Just get him. Get him, girls. Okay. We still haven't checked that tower. Want to take a look? Look. Yep. Let's go. Boss time. Bust it out. See, is she? Can she do anything better? I guess we should be doing Master Eye. Oh, yeah. And then attacking. Oh yeah, they still their attack does a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. All right. Here goes. Oh, now he's got stupid. Okay. Let's see, Riku. Can you dispel him? see a dispel okay that's fine um you can though do a high potion on yuna Thanks for the lightning to heal you now. Jeez, and that delays her that much? That's annoying. Stop mighty guarding. You already did that.
Gosh, his Regan is so much. Okay, I've got to figure out how to dispel that thing. Like, I do not have anything for that. Oh, wait, no, I do. Dispel Tonic. Okay. Let's see, what can we get rid of? I just missed it before. Oh. Okay. Oh, not on Riku. Whatever. Okay, he's almost dead. Okay. Just gotta survive the meteor. It's all in the wrist. Okay, the meteor didn't do that much damage, I guess. <clears throat> when you have the, uh, the accessories that I have, I guess it's all good. Would have never survived at that level in earlier run throughs. You're welcome. He says there's another hole by the tower. Think it's connected to the others? Oh, can I skip this? No. I don't think there's. Uh oh. Eludiga, we do draruma. We going in? Uh, we'll go in the hole in a second. I want to pick up that chest. All right, Tetra Band, let's go. Whole time. We going in? Yep. Aww. In the hole. You gotta rescue Sid. Coming for you, Sid. Leave it to me. How the hecky did you get yourself so trapped up in here, Sid? This is redonkulous. That's it. That is it.
All right, I think I should just... Oh, more, more battles. I think I just should be able to go up that last one and then he sits right there. There he is. Sid, I come in. Hang tight. Skip this. Yes, I can. Okay, I haven't been able to skip a scene in so long. Boss battle. Got him. If I kill him, do I even have to kill the Watchers? It is still, yeah, it still makes me kill the Watchers. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to use another X potion. Dang it. Teenagers these days saved your ass, Sid. Come on now. Out of control. Good You're kind of out of control. Airship. You tell him, brother. You tell him. <laughs> He's not applauding. He means it, brother. Put each other th through a lot over the years. Not even Riku knows what caused their final falling out. Still, there's something nice about the whole thing. If only I could have talked like this with my father, or you, with yours. That's a good point. It's a good point. Would have maybe helped with all the daddy issues. All right, Sid's on the on the airship now. Okay, so gonna save. Okay, next step is to capture all the Thunder Plains fiends. So that's what we're gonna do. 
There's uh, six of them, so we should be able to just get all of them. All right, so Thunder Plains. There's some large ones. All right, Humbaba. Yes, we just beat you up. Now we have you on the ship. Okay, there's another large one. All right, Machina Striker, yes. And then there's two medium ones. So we'll go... Yeah, Thunder Plains, we'll use our... Oh, not special yet. Let me use the medium first, and then we'll use the special. There we go. Okay, we got Assault Machina. We just mark these off before we start using our specials. Okay, so all the, all the other ones we need, it, the, the large ones are the only ones that this doesn't apply to. Um, but they're all Machina, so we're just going to use the, the Machina ones. So Thunder Plains... And where is Machina? Right there. All right, Machina leader, yes. Oh. Okay. Actually, I'll be right back. I have to pee. <laughs> I can't. I can't hold it anymore. Hang on. I swear. Every time I have a tea on stream, every freaking time. Okay, we got Machina Leader. Let's mark him off. Alright. Alright, Machina Soldier. Yes, we need you too. Okay, last one. Okay, Killer Machina, yes. Alright, so that's all the Thunder Plains ones. And that doesn't even get us quite filled up. We still have a slot left. So we're going to do the next thing with the girls, which is to complete the Cactuar missions and open Cactuar Hollow. Yes, we have to do the Cactuar missions again. So let's try to do some of those. Hey, Koneko, welcome back. Did you have a delicious dinner? What did you have? Okay, we're going to save. Boop. All right, so to get the Cactuar mission started, we first have to go all the way over to Beaconel. All Which I have not been to since I was last required to come here to get the uniforms. So, you know, we have all these scenes. Had a good dinner. We had an oven dish here. with pasta. I forget what it's called, but it's yummy. Ooh, that does sound good. This is Benzo, an interpreter. Please take him with you. We'll take care. It's uh, it's football Benzo, Sunday, so we go. we're gonna have football snacks soon. I'll make a plate when it's uh I when it's wrong. break time. She doesn't get dragged into trouble. She jumps in. That's right. She does jump head first. Now y'all understand. That's the correct line, not the stuff that they say in earlier chapters. She goes for it, because she wants to help, genuinely. She follows what's important to her heart. What? What's happening? Yep, this bitch. These are no garden variety themes. Let's ask Marnala. She knows. I know, I right? So, where is Marnala? Those were a lot of beasties. I'll interpret. Sure. Marnala, do you?
We have to raise the great Haboob. Don't worry, we will do it. <clears throat> That's the gist of it. Yuna! Get back! <gasps> Marnala saved the day! Nope, no. she's just holding him she off. She struck... Please find the gatekeepers before. Don't worry, Benzo. We will find them. We're gonna get those gatekeepers and we're gonna bring them back right here. That's the okay, so we remember where all of these guys are from when we did this way back in our first playthrough. Okay, so we got to do it all again and uh, unlock the Cactuar Hollow to capture those fiends. Uh, are you ready to return to camp? Yes. All right, take me to the oasis. There you are. What's up? Whoa. What's a shoe pop doing? And we're not going to worry about trying to beat the games or anything this time. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. We know. We know. We did end up beating Freyella, which is the only one that matters. Just waste our ammo. Wow. Hey, oh, yeah, we actually got it just by spazzing. <laughs> oh, he is the first one, though, so whatever. Okay, I win. Sweet. It doesn't matter if you win. It doesn't make any difference. All right, let's go back to Cactuar Nation. Come on. Talk to the... Okay. No. Why can I not go back? What's happening? Oh, I guess I have to talk to the high pillow? That was weird. I thought I was supposed to talk to the hover. Okay, back to Cactuar Nation for the next one. Here is your child, Cactuar Mother. I have returned him. That's the jit. All right, next. You know, all these are Cactuar mothers, the but the Cactuars themselves, like the little Cactuars, they have different genders. So where are the Cactuar fathers? Is it the kind of thing like where Cactuars, when they're like the little running around ones, they can have male or female, but then when they plant themselves, they all become female? Maybe that's how Cactuars work. Because when they're planted, it's all mothers. They don't have genders. It's just the one. For the airship. Okay. Our next one. Is in Besaid. 
So he's on Besaid Beach. It's gonna make us watch all these, since we haven't landed in Besaid yet. Mm. Maybe not. Okay. We gotta go down to the Besaid Beach. So maybe I don't have to do all that. I thought it was gonna make me. <laughs> but it actually does give me a chance to just go to the beach. Because that's where our job is. I wonder why I'm not getting- didn't get any encounters. If you don't follow Waka, does it- like, are all the encounters turned off or something? That was weird. I ran all the way down Besaid with no encounters. Unexpected. There he is. What's up, little dude? We're gonna spaz. We're gonna just spaz again on the... on the shooting. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm used to. <laughs> Didn't do so well because I let him hit me with his spinies. All right, let's head back. Oh no, there is encounters. They were just very low chance, I guess. Okay, back to Beaconel. Hopefully the other places we end up having to go are like that, where it won't actually like force me to do the area. Uh, I can just do the cactuars. What's up, dude? That's the just Where's the next one? Oh, back here. Most comfortable box. That's the just Okay, we know where the box is. That is in Chateau Leblanc.
You can come on our airship too, dude. You keep following me to the save sphere like you want to. You totally can. You are invited. The memories of the guado, but they're... What happens to memory? Yeah, I didn't do any of this, so the poor guado are just SOL. in there. Okay, I think it's just in the room, the room that's straight back. It's in one of these rooms. You know, it sucks for the LeBlanc Syndicate. They're, little, they're like little back area where the bedrooms are. It's full of fiends. That must be really annoying to live with. Okay, is in this room maybe? Yes, this room. What's up, dude? I found you. Guess you got stuck in the box. What's in the box? Got X potions, that's nice. Alright, back to Beaconel. I brought your child back. That's the chip. That's the just. Okay, so we remember where those two are as well. Um, they're in the calm lands, but uh, they're in the northern little area of the calm lands, right above where the cavern of the stolen faith is. So I think it's going to be easier if we go to Gagazet and walk down. So we're going to try that. Yeah, there's nothing here because... Oh wait, this is going to have this scene. Yeah, but we can skip it. Okay. And we're not going to follow them. Sorry. Sorry, Kamari. I didn't help you at all this time with, uh, with dumb Garrick. Alright, where are they? There they are. Hey, dudes. I reckon Erosia, there you are. A wreck, Erosia, and their faithful chocobos. We can just use the um, save sphere that's down here by the cavern.
Yeah, we're not doing this mission. Ah, bless me. I can feel that one coming. Okay. He can now. Thank you, Koneko. Thank you. I needed that. I needed that kazoon tight. Okay, here we go. That's the just. It would be nice if there was some chocobos to play with in the desert. Hint, hint. Because <laughs> you can make that happen. But I don't. We're not. We don't have to dig, so we're not going to worry about that. That's the. All right, Is, uh, Isla, Is, Islaya? Yeah, Islaya. We remember where Islaya is. Okay, Islaya is in the Thunder Plains, but they're in the northern part of the Thunder Plains. So I think if we go to Makalania, I, I'm trying to remember, like, because we just didn't do anything there. I think I don't think any mission's gonna trigger or anything if we just head to Makalania. Yeah, because there's no hot spot, so I think if we just go there. Nothing's gonna trigger. Yeah, and I can just walk down. Okay, and he's by the Cactuar Stone that I think is over here. This one. No. Must be another cactuar stone that's farther down. But I know he's up here on the side. That's it. That's it. There he is. Okay. Found him. Lightning. Come on, just waste all the ammo, you know. There we go, okay. Back to Beaconel. one is over here. Oh, come on. There we go. That's the All right. Yes. Uh Chiapa is up in the woods. So we have to get into Kilika Woods for this.
Okay. It's it's probably gonna make me do at least a portion of this one since we gotta go into the woods for him. So hopefully I won't have to do too much. And we just we didn't do a lot of the stuff here, so I'm like not a hundred percent sure what's going to happen. Oh wait, while we're here. Is it on this side? No, 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 no. It's on the second screen. I was gonna go pick up our other invincible. Oh, it's just going to take me right there. Okay. We just won't go all the way up to the temple where we finish this. Where is it? Oh, it's the tree branches down here, I think. Yeah, it's this one, it's this one, okay. Get up there. I didn't mean to find the squatter monkey, I meant to jump up here. There we go. Alright, here we are. What's up, dude? With some Kawirls! His forest friends. Aww. Almost won another one just by spazzing out, but no, he got me with his needles. Why? Why? That's not the direction I want you to go. That was weird. I was pushing the control stick the other direction and she was just walking that way. Okay, we're gonna go pick up our um, Invincible now. Because I'm pretty sure I did that. I, I definitely did it at Chapter 1, and I think I went and looked through the telescope in Chapter 3, too. So we should have another Invincible waiting for us. Yep, okay. Invincible! Yay, now I've got three of those. Nice.
All right, back to Beaconel. Come this way, your mom is over here. That's the ju This one. That's the All right. We remember where this guy is. He is up on Mount Gagazet. Okay, but we are actually going to take a little stretch break at this point. So I'm going to save, and we will finish them in just a moment, or tomorrow, depending on if you're watching this recorded or live on Twitch. <laughs> All right. All right. If you're watching the recording of this, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.